We've got some awesome things lined up for you. Like a dance with Roxy. A rip-roaring story. And a trip to the zoo to search for the king of all the animals. So come along, join in all the fun, and don't forget to sing the songs with us. <laughs> hey, girls. Yeah, yeah Ollie. Ollie. Have you ever stood up for something that you knew was right even though nobody else did? Hmm, I think that's one of the hardest things to do. We know a story about someone who did just that. So listen up and we'll tell you all about it. A long, long time ago in a faraway land, there lived a young boy who was very clever and brave. His name was Daniel. During a terrible war, he and some of his friends were taken from their homes to a distant land, a land where things were very different to what they were used to. You see, Daniel and his friends worshipped the God of heaven, and in this new land, they were often asked to do things that they knew their God would not want them to do. Daniel and his friends were determined not to become like everyone else around them. So... Whenever they had problems, they always took them straight to God. Here, I'm the boss But they didn't need to worry Cause they had their little song And it went Clap your hands, wave your arms Cause God he will provide Nobody can hurt us Cause God is on our side Tap your feet to the beat Stretch and jump up high
A few years later, a new king called Darius ruled over the land, and he was on the lookout for someone to be his right-hand man. King's Court. Hmm. Now let me see. This person would need to be honest. Honest. Fair. Fair. Loyal. Loyal. Ah, yes. And he would have to like reggae music. Reggae music. A very impressive list, Your Majesty. I'm sure the right person won't be too hard to find. Could even be right under your nose. Someone who'll be just right for me. I think I know who it should be. Now Daniel, I could believe in. Yes, he's the best. I'll choose him. I'm the king. I know just the person for this job. In fact, I can't believe I didn't think of him sooner. I've known him for such a long time. He's fair, honest. I know I can trust him with my life. Daniel, he's the one I'll choose. But, but, Your Majesty, surely such a huge decision requires just a little more thinking time. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't this person be one of our people? Someone who knows our customs? No. My mind is made up. Daniel will be my chief right-hand man. <clears throat> A bad boys club. The other rulers in the king's court were really annoyed. They didn't like Daniel one bit. He was always showing them up. It seemed he was better than them at everything. And now he was to be given the top job in the kingdom. <gasps> That's when the leader of the Bad Boys Club came up with a wicked little plan. Long live the oh. king! Oh, sire, oh, your excellency, you're looking fine today. Mm. Why, that wouldn't happen to be a new shirt you're wearing, would it? Why, yes. Thanks for noticing. I chose it myself, in fact. Yes, well, that's obvious. <laughs> oh, king, live forever and ever. Oh, sire, oh, your majesty, life in your kingdom is so good. 
good. Your people are happy. The economy is better than ever. And I was thinking it would be a wonderful idea if we had a We Love the King Festival. Shucks. I'm liking the sound of this. Tell me, what would happen at such a festival? During this festival, you would be honoured above all other gods in the land. In fact, during this time, only you, O oh King, would be worshipped. What an awesome idea, loyal servant. Tell me, how do we bring about this event? Oh, funny you should ask. The paperwork's already been done. Oh. Just need your ring signature here. Mm -hmm. Here. Mm-hmm. And... <clears throat> here. Oh, okay. Could I see that last bit about the... Oh, no need to worry yourself with a fine print, Your Majesty. Oh. <laughs> it's really of no concern to you. Oh. Splendid. Let the celebrations begin. A new law is passed. So the new law was passed throughout the land and the Bad Boys Club wasted no time in announcing the news that for the next 30 days, no one was to worship any other god or man other than King Darius. It was also announced that anyone who was caught disobeying this new law would be fed to the hungry lions. <laughs> It was well known amongst the Bad Boys Club that Daniel openly worshipped the God of Heaven. So on the first day of the new law, they camped outside his window to see what he would do. But the new law didn't make any difference to Daniel's daily routine of opening his window, facing his homeland and praying to the God of Heaven. for this. Oh, King! I'm too upset! 
to even tell you. What? It's just that your loyal, faithful servant, Danny Boy, Danny. was just caught in the very act of disobeying <gasps> your new law. Which means, oh, King, I can't bear it. He'll have to be thrown into the lion's den. What have I done? What was I thinking? Oh, where was my brain on the day that I signed this new law? Oh, I know Daniel serves the God of heaven. How could I have forgotten this? To cheer the king up. Yeah. To try and cheer the king up, his servant suggested playing his favourite music or sending for his favourite dancers, but nothing seemed to work. He was in a very bad mood. Oh no! I think my brain went on vacation. Maybe it went to Jamaica. What I was thinking was I thinking at all When I signed that decree and made that silly new law Now my best friend Daniel, oh what can he do? Cause in a few days he'll rely on food Oh, 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 no. oh no Daniel, I'm so sorry but what can I do? Oh me, oh me, oh my, oh my Daniel, better play to your god on high You pray to your God in the sky But would he really mind If you just prayed inside Cause you're my best friend Daniel I have plans for you And I don't want you to become lion food Oh, 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 no Oh, oh, no Daniel, I'm so sorry But what can I do? Oh, me, oh, me, oh, my, oh, my Daniel, better pray to your God on high I've heard the lions are hungry, they're licking their paws They haven't been fed and I can hear their roars I'm just so worried, I'm in a bad mood Cause Daniel will soon become lion food Oh, 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 no, oh, no Daniel, I'm so sorry, but what can I do? Oh, me, oh, me, oh, my, oh, my Daniel, better pray to your God Oh, oh, Daniel, now only your God can save you. <laughs> the night before. So the night before Daniel was to be thrown to the lions, he went to his window and opened his heart to his God. Dear God in heaven, I don't know why this is happening to me, but I'm not going to turn my back on you now. I have given my life to you, and I know you'll take care of me. Thank you for being my forever friend. Lord, to you alone I come.
the next day, the king had no choice but to watch as his good friend Daniel was taken to the lion's den and thrown in. He could hear the roars of the hungry lions and it made him feel sick in the stomach. But Daniel felt calm because he knew that God loved him and was in total control of the situation. Funny thing was, is that when Daniel was thrown into the den, the lion's roars stopped. Strangely enough, they just didn't seem to be hungry anymore. Yeah, your time is not up. What's up, Daniel? Your time is not up. God sent his angels, our mouths are shut. What's up, Daniel? Your time is not up. Sneaking and pacing, growling and snarling, and it's not lunchtime. Faithful are you, yes, honest and true. Your God has shut our mouths. Shut, yeah, your time is not up. What's up, Daniel? Your time is not up. God sent his angels, our mouths are shut. What's up, Daniel? Your time is not up. For King Darius, so fearful for you, his hands were tied. What could he do? But then he saw that your faith was true. Your God has come true for you. Yeah! Oh. sleep a wink all night. He was so worried about Daniel. So, very early the next morning, King Darius hurried over to the lion's den. Daniel! Oh, Daniel! Has your God protected you? Are you there? Are you alive? Speak to me, Daniel! Speak to me! Oh, King, live forever! My God has kept me safe! He sent an angel to shut the lion's mouth! All right! So the king ordered his guards to get Daniel out of the lion's den and was amazed to see that he didn't even have a scratch on him. King Darius was so happy to see his friend all in one piece that he threw a huge party to celebrate and to honour Daniel's god who could even shut the lion's mouths. And as for the bad boys club, they got into a lot of trouble for tricking the king and were never ever seen again. Daniel continued to serve the one true God and kept standing up for what was right, no matter what. Now, let the real celebrations begin. Yeah! yeah. Six days, he hung the sun and moon in space, but he's not. 
not too big to fit inside your heart. Take one step forward, two steps back. Shuffle sideways just like that. Give Daniel's got a cheer, hip hip hooray. Just twist and shake. Tap your feet, you're doing great. Give Daniel's got a clap, cause he's here to stay. Daniel's got, he's so big. There's nothing that he cannot do, but he can help you make all your dreams come true. So trust in him. Give him your best. Don't worry, he'll take care of the rest. Cause he only wants to live inside your heart. Take one step forward, two steps back. Shuffle sideways just like that. Give Daniel's got a cheer, hip hip hooray. Just twist and shake. Tap your feet, you're doing great. Give Daniel's got a clap, cause he's here to stay. Just twist and shake. Tap your feet, you're doing great. Give Daniel's got a clap, cause he's here to stay. Give Daniel's got a clap, cause he's here to stay. Hey, Roxy! <laughs> hey, Roxy! What have you been doing? Oh, saying hi to all the kids. Weren't they great singers and dancers, Roxy? <laughs> you know, saying hello to people is one of the best ways to make new friends. A friendly wave or smile lets people know that you're happy to see them. This is one of Roxy's favourite songs. Want to join in? Come on. Your lips closed tight or open wide Just like Roxy, you can wave like me Or flap a fin like this You can say hello or blow a kiss Cause when we come to see you We'll show you how we smile Wave our hand to greet you It's great to see you here again And next time that I meet you I'll give a smile and say a big hello You, or you can smile like me With your lips closed tight Or open wide Just like Roxy You can wave like me Or flap a thing like this You can say hello Or blow a kiss Cause saying hello Can make people stay Say it at home Or out on your way Wave as you say it And wave them goodbye Lift your hands and give it one more try Cause when we come to see you We'll show you how we smile Wave our hand to greet you It's great to see you here again And next time that I meet you I'll give a smile and say a big hello When we come to see you We'll show you how we smile Wave our hand to greet you it's great to see you here again And next time that I meet you I'll give a smile and say a big hello All right! Wow, Roxy, I love your dance moves. You've been practicing, haven't you? <laughs> hey, what is it? Why are you so excited? You've got a surprise. I love surprises. Oh, but I have to close my eyes. This is so exciting. Oh, what do you have there, Oxy? A gift box. Can I open it? Oh, each of these hearts is a special hug from Roxy. Oh, thank you, Roxy. I love hugs. They're one of my favorite things in the whole world. Hey, Daniil. Hey, Roxy. What have you got there? A gift box full of hearts and a special hugs from Roxy. Oh, thanks, Roxy. <laughs> You've made my day. I love oh. hugs too, Roxy. Thank you for your beautiful gifts. You know, Roxy, gifts don't have to cost a lot of money, do they? In fact, 
the best gifts come from right inside your heart. You have a gift that is inside of you. Deep in your heart, let your magic shine through. Cause everyone is special. No matter what people may say Cause you have a gift hidden inside of you You know, God has given every single one of us a precious gift Something we can do to make other people's lives better Your gift may be being a good friend or making people laugh Or even standing up for someone who's been picked on at school I wonder what your special gift is Well, here we are at Taronga Zoo, Sydney, Australia, with a few of our friends. Yay! We're on the search for the king of the animals. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Hey, let's go in and find out. Come on! Come on, everyone! the clue cards that will lead us on the trail to find the king of all the animals. So, everyone, let's try and find the clue card. It's about this big. It could be over here, everyone. Come on, let's have a look. Oh, he's found it. Oh, and it has the letter L on the back. Hmm. Read it out. I'm cute and I'm cuddly. I like to eat leaves. I live in Australia. Hi, up in Gun. So lives high up in gum trees, koala, eat leaves. Koala. Yeah, I think you might be right. Hey, let's go look for the koalas. Come on. Hey kids, don't forget to look for the next card to help us in our search for the king of the animals. Oh, do you want to read it out? Hang on a minute, what's on the back here? What letter's this? O. O. Is it O for Ollie, maybe? <laughs> All right, you read it out for us. I live in the jungle, I swing from the trees, yep. I fly through the air with the greatest of ease. Mm, what do you think that might be? I, I think so, lives in the jungle, flies from the trees, or oh, swings from the trees. Monkey. Sounds like ch ch chimpanzee. Chimpanzee! <laughs> yeah, let's go find the chimpanzee. I think the clue 
Urquhart is around here somewhere. Oh, Amber's found it. Amber, do you want to read it out? I'm orange and black and I like to eat leaves. I have a big, long neck and knobbly knees. Orange and black? <gasps> what is the matter? Oh, you're a giraffe! 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 Let's go find the giraffes. Come on. Come on. Found the next clue card. Well done. Ollie. Okay, Ollie, you read it out in a big, loud voice. I'm drunk and I have two floppy ears. Yep. I have a good memory and need for many years. Mm, a big, long trunk and two big, floppy ears. you be? Jaguar. Why would you be a Jaguar? Because powerful. Powerful. Yeah. Elephant. Why? Because I can bring my trunk. Monkey. A monkey. Why would you want to be a monkey of all animals? Because I'm a good climber. Are you? <laughs> like a monkey. What about you, Jill? Hmm, if I could be any animal, I think I'd be a bird because you can fly so high and I think it'd be fun. Hey kids, we must be getting real close now to finding the king of the animals. Now, what will we going to see next? A dolphin, a um, a chimpanzee, a meerkat because they look funny. Yeah, that's true, they do look really funny. Hey, I reckon we must be getting pretty close to finding the king of all the animals. Who's got a clue card? Okay, could I have a look? I, L, and what was the other one? N. O. And let's put O here. Can you hold your letter up? That's it. Big smile. Big smile. That's it. What does that spell? Lion. Lion. Hey, maybe that's the king of all the animals. thrown into this cage after they hadn't been fed for a few weeks. That wouldn't be much fun, would it? No. Hey, you know what? If God can shut the mouths of these guys, like he did for Daniel, imagine what he can do for you. Yeah! you want 
You have 